human cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, which means it cannot get through the brain to have an effect on it, right? So those pharmaceutical companies are so great, they got so much money, and they tested that if they just tweak the chemical configuration of dopamine to the left, that's why they called it level, to the left, it will pass through the blood-brain barrier. So this is synthetic dopamine wheat to the left. Following, we have a lot of drugs that are synthetic, which are copies of the naturally occurring chemicals in our body. And this is one of them. And this is why for the longest time, L-DOPA or levodopa is the number one, not cure, treatment for Parkinson's disease. Dopa came from dopamine. And then they tweaked it to the left side, levo, okay? Interesting. Cinnamon, brand name, okay? Levodopa, it may come as L-DOPA, carbidopa. You see? Giveaway, dopa, dopa, because it's a dopamine agonist. It stimulates the production of dopamine. Okay? Mirapax. Say Mirapax. Say Pramipexol. Pramipexol. Okay? For chronic Parkinson's disease, known for having fewer side effects than most Parkinson's disease treatment, that's how pharmaceutical companies roll. Of course, they're going to try to discover something with less side effects, less side effects. Okay? Plus, it's part of the business. This one shows up on the PTCE, and I'll tell you why. Not only because it's a Parkinson's disease treatment, Requip Opinerol is also used for what? Can somebody tell me? Yeah. Restless Leg Syndrome. Yes! That's why it shows up on the PTCE. RLS. Restless Leg Syndrome. It's a treatment for restless legs. For those of you who are traveling long flights, <laughs> international flights, make sure don't care. Even if you're in economy, walk the aisle. Who's just stopping? Request for the aisle seat so you don't bother anybody when you do that. Yeah. That's the aisle seat. Like, excuse me, excuse me. And they're sleeping. Seat. Okay. Pay extra for that. You walk back and forth. Compression socks. Oh, because you're, it's very common for people who especially have been sitting a long time, either in ground transportation or flight, you'll see that your feet are swollen. It's because of lack of circulation. And the way to help you minimize that is by wearing compressions. Okay. You're flying the solid way. But it's quick, but long hauls. I see call emerging. I want to talk about this. This is when I talk about sympathetic, parasympathetic. That's why I did not discuss the pharmacology 101. Sympathetic. Adrenaline. Think adrenaline. When you're up in the air, what happens when you're scared and what happens when you're fighting with somebody This shows up all the time. 